Wow. Reports say that the Cleveland Cavaliers owner and LeBron James are butting heads once again on the idea of LeBron staying. The owner's not willing to pull the trigger on a lot of these big free agent moves that LeBron wants to do because LeBron James is not committed to staying past next season. He told LeBron, look, we can make this deal happen and make Paul George come here, but if Paul George come to Cleveland and we could do a trade and get him over here, I'm only doing the trade if you are willing to stay past 2018. If you're going to leave after next year, I'm not going to bring Paul George over here for one year. It makes no sense to do that. And then you leave and who knows where the team's going to be. Now, what was shocking was the players that was involved in the deal. The deal wasn't even Kevin Love. The deal was Kyrie Irving. Which let me know that LeBron James must have been okay with the thing. But the owner is willing to trade Kyrie Irving. It was a three-team deal in which I believe the Denver Nuggets was involved in another player on another team. It was a three-team deal so they can make this work. But Kyrie Irving would go to another team. Um, I don't know if it was Denver. I didn't even think he went to the Indiana Pacers. And, of course, Cleveland would end up with Paul George, and they had to give up a draft pick and some other stipulations in this three-team deal. But the fact that Kyrie Irving was even mentioned was a surprise. And Cleveland was ready to do the deal before the draft. This was before the NBA draft. And he spoke to LeBron James, and he said, I'm willing to do the deal, but you have to agree that you're going to stay past 2018. LeBron James did not commit to staying past 2018. Would not do it. Would not make that commitment. So Paul George, that deal fell to the wayside. The owner was not going to pull the trigger. Now, other teams, when they tried to move Kevin Love, in a deal. They wanted Kyrie Irving. The Indiana Pacers wanted Kyrie and Kevin Love. And they're like, oh, for, for Paul George, are you retarded? No. Like, like no, there's no way we'll pull that trigger for that. So they're trying to do two players for two players. And then work that angle. And I think C.J. Miles is going to go to the Pistons if he didn't go already. Um, there's a lot of different movements going on here. But the Cleveland Cavaliers are imploding, and the Cleveland Cavaliers owner is willing to dismantle the entire team next season if LeBron is not committed to staying. He is not going to commit to having, spending all this money just for one season, which is next season. He's not, he's not trying to do a one last ride. If he gets this players and played his money, he wants LeBron James to commit to staying in Cleveland, which might lead to the Cleveland owner breaking up the entire team. And starting over from scratch. Because they have been over the cap for like 40, 50 million, and they're probably going to be over the cap next season for about 40, 50 million. And it's a record. But LeBron doesn't care. He's like, look, I want to compete. I'm not going to come out there on the court with just nothing. So you got to get me some players to play with. So, because LeBron's looking at the number like, look, I'm generating a billion dollars here. 
you guys went from five hundred million dollar uh, company or organization to a billion dollars. So I bring in five hundred million in revenue. So we can be over the cap. No over, no owner wants to be over the cap. <laughs> it looks bad for an organization. The Chicago Bulls generate, they're probably like third or fourth in the highest generation of like money. And they're 29th in cap. 29th in cap space. And they're not trying to spend any money. They okay with just making the playoffs. Because they're already in the black every year. So for Cleveland, things that come come to the head after this uh after this free agency, because LeBron right now expecting something big to happen. If they don't get these certain players that he want on their team, he's gonna definitely be out. And the owner's like, well, if he's gonna be out next year, he's gonna strip that team like a car. Just completely strip the team down. And if LeBron leaves the next year, oh well. There's no way he's going to pay all that money when you, LeBron won't even make the commitment to staying in Cleveland. So they're, they're doing the who's going to blink first, playing hardball with one another. Because he's got LeBron next season, so, you know, after that, then it's up to LeBron, but he's got him for next season. So it's like, who's going to blink first? If LeBron's thinking championship next year, he's going to have to realize, I need this owner. I need this, you know, I need this right now to work out. I need him to work and play ball with me, so... The owner's like, look, you're not going to punk me no more. I tried to pull the trigger on all these deals. Nobody wants Kevin Love's contract. You know, they wonder, like, man, you guys pay Kevin Love a lot of money. <laughs> um, I don't think we can do that. And take Kevin Love? Nah, not for that much. So nobody wants to take that deal. Now, if they agree to pay some of his salary, then they might could do a deal with like an individual trade-off, but Cleveland have to be willing to pay the salary, which they definitely don't want to do. Since because of LeBron James, they're paying two coaches already who are not even on the team. So there you have it. LeBron want them gone, they just got to pay them out. So this owner is paying multi-millions of dollars for guys who are no longer on the team. So what's going on in Cleveland? You know how they say in Cleveland, oh, we're going to be all right. We got LeBron. I'm going to be all right. <laughs> Good luck to you, dumb fools. Good luck. And on that note, we cue the music. Bye.